He's in the red. We should mention the guy in the electro. Oh, gee, almost it wasn't a double knockdown. It was a knockdown as Bundridge went down and Powell slipped. And it's ruled no knockdown. Wow. I don't understand. Oh, a, le a massive left hand by Powell. And Bundridge is out of it. He is out of it. One of the most astounding. It looked like the Zab Judah fight. Unbelievable. His fellow countryman, Eraslandi Lara, to gain his freedom. But since living, leaving Cuba, he is now 4-0 as a pro. Bigan Diaz is a southpaw. That's only one of the problems for the Landeros. The other problems, Landeros took this fight on 11 days' notice. And a body shot scores a knockdown right away. It was a big, solid body shot by Rigan Diaz. It's over. A body punch knockout victory for Guillermo Rigondeaux. This is round one scheduled for 12 for the WBC middleweight championship. Jay Bell in the white trunks. He's the challenger and the trunk gold is the champion Gerald McClellan. Bell, a former defensive captain for the Howard High football team in Chattanooga. 150 pound linebacker off the field and honor student. to the body, right in the solar plexus it appeared to me. Jay Bell is sprawled out on the canvas. He cannot move. That's a shot right to the solar plexus that stopped you. He either cracked the rib or he cannot move. That one shot. That's got to be a record. Unbelievable. 29 seconds into the first round, he's, and he's counted out at that rate. He got he's still down. 19 seconds. I and think. he's still down. And he's he was 19 years old before he told his father that he wanted to commit to becoming a professional boxer that's somewhat reminiscent of the experience of Sergio Martinez, whom you'll see in his pay-per-view showdown for the middleweight championship next week with Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Martinez, who came to the sport at age 20, is perhaps the most successful recent vintage fighter with that latest start. And there's a straight left hand by Norco that suddenly knocks Molina back into the ropes. And here comes Molina trying to come back the only way he knows how, swinging hard with the right hand. We've got a ball at the beginning, and DeMarco has the best of it. Jack Reese watching as Molina covers up, and he's going to stop the fight. Uh, I believe he should have called that a knockdown. DeMarco is being held up by the ropes and didn't appear to be totally out of it to me. He's out of it now, as Jack Reese has ruled that a 55-second knockout. I, I agree with uh, Max. Uh, we talked about by Rick and And it's over. A body punch knockout victory for Guillermo Rigondeau. It is round one scheduled for 12 for the WBC middleweight championship. Jay Bell in the white trunks. He's the challenger and the trunk gold is the champion Gerald McClellan. Bell, a former defensive captain for the Howard High football team in Chattanooga. 150 pound linebacker off the field and honor student. And look at this. A big left hook to the body right in the solar plexus it appeared to me. Jay Bell is sprawled out on the canvas. He cannot move. That's a shot right to the solar plexus that stopped you. He either cracked the rib or he cannot move. That's one shot. That's got to be a record. Unbelievable. 29 seconds into the first round, he's, 
and he's counted out at that rate. He got he's still out. 19 seconds. I think he's still down. And he's he was 19 years old before he told his father that he wanted to commit to becoming a professional boxer. That's somewhat reminiscent of the experience of Sergio Martinez, whom you'll see in his pay-per-view showdown for the middleweight championship next week with Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Martinez who came to the sport at age 20 is perhaps the most successful recent vintage fighter with that ring for some time and Prince Nazim Hamed retains his WBO featherweight title well we didn't learn anything new but we're reminded of the chilling power that Naz has with one single punch that's all it took all the he's in the red we should mention the guy in the electro Oh, gee, almost it wasn't a double knockdown. It was a knockdown as Bundridge went down and Powell slipped. And it's ruled no knockdown. Wow. I don't understand. Oh, a, le a massive left hand by Powell. And Bundridge is out of it. He is out of it. One of the most astounding. It looked like the Zab Judah fight. Unbelievable. His fellow countryman, Eraslandi Lara, to gain his freedom. But since living, leaving Cuba, he is now 4-0 as a pro. Bigger Diaz is a southpaw. That's only one of the problems for the Landeros. The other problems, Landeros took this fight on 11 days' notice. And a body shot scores a knockdown right away. It was a big, solid body shot. Right, go on. Go, go, go. the right hand we were worried about the fight's all over the fight is all over his legs have gone the referee could, could just call this Nazo I wonder if he'll back off and just let him recover because this fight should be stopped that young fellow's legs are completely gone if this fight is not finished in the first round it's because Naz doesn't want to yet it's all over all over the most clinical finish seen in the British